Hey friends, um, I'm going to do a live unboxing for you um, of something I got in the mail. So I want you to see all the parts of what I got in the mail and then there will be lots of short video clips to follow over the next couple of weeks so we can kind of track what I got in the mail. So I got something in the mail that was alive. Can anybody guess what I got in the mail that might be alive? Hmm. I got a live cup of caterpillars. These caterpillars I've had for actually maybe three or four days. They come in this little cup and they're in there crawling right now. Let's put it up there so you can see. These were actually little teeny tiny black caterpillars when I got them. When you get them, you don't open up the cup. You leave the cup closed and they eat the brown stuff that is on the bottom. That is their food and nutrition for the next couple weeks. And they'll stay in this cup until they form their chrysalis. So when you order your cup of caterpillars, they come in a box like this to your mailbox. And it will say open right away because there are live insects inside. And it says fragile for the mail carrier so they know um, to make sure not to drop the box or to bump the box because that could hurt what's inside. So, and it comes with all these things inside that you need to um, get your caterpillars and watch them grow into butterflies. So I'm gonna open up the box and show you what's inside. And then over the next couple of weeks, we are going to track these caterpillars growing and turning into butterflies. So I'm gonna open up the box. So the first thing that comes in the box is this really cool net. When you undo the Velcro right here, it pops open and this is what we will put the, once the caterpillars go into their chrysalis, we will move them into this net. That way when they hatch out, they're able to fly around in here. You want them in a net because if you don't and you just lay the chrysalis on like a table and they're not in a net, they'll fly around your house and you might not catch them. So once they get into a chrysalis, we will move them into this net. It comes with some seeds. So you can plant your own garden and these will be wildflowers that will attract butterflies to your garden. It comes with this little wooden log. It's called a chrysalis station. So when your caterpillars have grown for about two weeks, they will go to the top of the lid right here and they will be hanging in, inside their chrysalis. And then I will very gently pull the lid off and I will set the lid this way in here and they will be hanging on there and then I'll put the lid or I'll put this little log inside the bottom of the net and then over time these chrysalis will start to hatch and we'll have butterflies flying ground and hopefully I can get a video of one of them hatching. You also have this little flower it has like a sponge in it so when your butterflies hatch they will need something to drink. They have a long tongue called a proboscis and it kind of goes in there like a needle and it sucks it out. So what you will do, you will use one of these packs of sugar and it says empty two sugar packets into a cup of water and mix because they love sugary, sweet, watery things. So we will do that and then we'll use this little pipette and we'll squirt the water on top of it and then your butterfly can drink out of it. You can't put a cup of water in there because if a butterfly gets inside, it could drown. So you just do a wet sponge and it can stick their proboscis in there and get the sugar water. And then lastly, when your butterflies do hatch, you will have to feed them. So I usually use orange slices. They like um, fruits that are juicy. So you could do oranges, pineapples, um, we've used watermelon before, so they like those kinds of things. So now I'm going to walk you through the quick guide that comes with it. And it tells you um, how your butterflies are going to go through the life cycle. So here it is. You get a little bucket, booklet that says it's time to grow. Caterpillar quick guide. So when you first get your caterpillars, they will come in a cup and they will be little teeny tiny caterpillars. They grow very, very fast. They double almost every single day for the first couple of days. So it says you will place the cup inside. You wanna place it away from sunlight. You will keep the lid on it. You do not move the cup. You do not touch the caterpillars. And you watch them carefully because they will start to grow. Then we will wait for them to become chrysalids. So do you see how they're hanging from the top of the cup? That is when you will take the lid off of the cup 
and you will set it on the little wooden branch thing and then we'll move it into the net so they can start to hatch. So your chrysalids are moved off the lid into the little log thing and then you will add it into the net. And then the last step is that they will start to hatch out of the chrysalids and they will begin to fly around in your net. And then we will put some sugar water on the sponge and we will add some juicy fruits in there and we'll let them eat. And then eventually we will take them outside and we will let them release into the air and we'll watch them fly away. And we are growing painted lady butterflies. So they're kind of an orangish brownish color. They're very pretty bright colors and they're fun to watch grow. So if you're interested in um, purchasing this kit, the website is insect I N S E C T lore L O R E dot com. They have butterfly kits, ladybug kits, and even a praying mantis kit. But you don't have to buy it because I have the kit. So every day I'm going to post like little short clips of what our caterpillars are up to so you can see. So this is our first couple of days right here. They are moving, growing, and eating their food. Thank you. Have a good day.